Now, once you understand how you can make this blog page, let's take a look at how we can create this related component inside this blog page. So what I'm going to do is inside my components, right inside these components right here, I'm going to create a new file inside this child and I'm going to name this file related.js. Now that's one you, you can specify any name to this file. And here I'm going to export a default function and I'm going to name this function related, get rid of this parameter and the content. Right here, I'm going to say return and return a division tag with related text. Let me save this. Back to my page at the top, right up here. I'm going to say import related from the components child. Just out of that, I'm going to copy this related and specify that at the bottom. Just out of this division tag right down here. Save these changes and I scroll down. Here you can see. We have this related title. Let me just back to the component and right here, let me create this component. So to make this component, I'm going to first create here a section tag and then specify class name, which is going to be padding top 20. And then I'm going to specify here H1 heading tag. Instead of creating a new H1 heading tag, I'm going to open this fourth section of this website. So I'm going to click on this section four. And you can see you have all your content here. You can just copy this H1 heading tag and then specify here inside this related content right here. Instead of business, you're now going to pass related. Instead of 4 Excel, here we pass 3 Excel and padding bar is going to be 10. After that, just out of this H1, I'm going to create here a div with flex class. And here I'm going to say flex column and gap is going to be 10. Just for that, inside this, I'm going to create these components. So to create this, we need to first create a function so we can iterate over these objects. So down here, I'm going to create a function, post, and then I'm going to return JSX here. Inside this, we create a div with the flex class and then specify here gap 5. And right down here, inside this div, we first need this image. So I'm going to back to the section 4, scroll down here. I have this code of this image. Let me copy this, paste it right inside this div. As you know, we don't have this link and this image component. So at the top, we need to say here import link from the next link and import image from the next image. Just for that, once we have the image, we need the blog information. So I'm going to back to the section 4 again. I'm going to copy this div completely and paste that right down here. Let me save this and back to the top. Here inside this div, I'm going to add this post function. When I save the changes, I'm going to have some error here. This is because the author is not there. So to get the author, we need to first import here author like this. Save this, scroll down. Here you have your first component. Now, just out of that, let me change a few things here. Instead of height 250, I'm going to pass here height 200. So I'm just going to decrease the height of this image. Just out of that, I'm going to leave everything as it is. Scroll up and duplicate this function. You can see the related component is now created. When we get the data from the backend, this component looks amazing. 